Harry Potter and the reluctant interview he gave for a Lewis III documentary on Wizards Harry Potter and the Red Delicious Apple that tasted like St. Harry Potter and the Heat Death of the Universe. Harry Potter and the quills that Malfoy has been flinging into Hermione's hair all throughout class and she still hasn't noticed a thing Harry Potter and the broken nose run got at a Chelsea game Harry Potter and the burial album that he was listening to over and over again for a while Harry Potter and the offshore assets that his lawyers advised him to not mention during the proceedings Harry Potter and the sustained pedal he was milking so that people would think he knew how to play the piano Harry Potter and the anti-anxiety meds that Luna Lovegood is currently trying to wean herself off of so she might be a little jumpy for a while Harry Potter and the Hawaiian shirt that did not work for him Harry Potter and the wizarding general election in which Neville ticked the wrong box and ended up voting for the BNP Harry Potter and the 15,000 page fantasy manuscript no one knew Filch had been working on for 40 years Harry Potter and the MB word he called Hermione that one time but he meant it like my friend, my hummy, so he thought it was okay but really it wasn't Harry Potter and the lamp he got at a rummage sale that not only talked but cracked wise and did celebrity impersonations that he didn't get but run did Harry Potter and the wizard Marxist literature that one of the guys from Ravenclaw recommended he read but he had to put a dust cover of something else over it because the wizarding world generally frowns on that sort of thing since it runs on a market economy Harry Potter Potter and that Buffalo Bill bit he did in front of the mirror after taking a shower Harry Potter and the collective oh my god just pick a defense against the dark arts instructor and stick with it grown from the student body during the opening banquet Harry Potter and the gym that run kept saying he was on his way to but he never got around to it Harry Potter and the brief flirtation with home bring butterbeer as a hobby Harry Potter and the dreadful mathematics skills thanks to a lack of a proper math class in Hogwarts. Thanks a lot Dumbledore. Now I'll never be prepared for a good career. I can conjure up a Patronus but I don't know what 6 times 7 is Harry Potter and the dark implications surrounding the existence of that love potion that girl gay run that one time. Plus the steroids ask controversy surrounding Felix Felicis use in Major League Quidditch. Not to mention the amount of distrust prevalent in a society where Polyge's potion is a thing Harry Potter and the hour-long rambling road trip story Hagrid told in a fit of nostalgia Harry Potter and the refusal of Luna Lovegood to set up an appointment with the school psychologist, which is a direct result of certain stigmas of the mentally ill within the wizarding community Harry Potter and the joke he told about red-haired women to Neville, which Ginny heard and was offended by, forcing him to have to attend a meeting with Professor Trelawney about which jokes are acceptable in an academic setting and which aren't Harry Potter and oh man, Ron was really in a movie about a flatulent kid who wants to be an astronaut. That's it, I'm telling everyone. Harry Potter and this dream he keeps having where he's in a park and he's just shooting at people and he knows he would never do something like that. But this dream, it's upsetting him a lot and he feels like a monster for having it. Harry Potter and the incredibly cathartic punch to the neck he gave Dudley a month ago. But here's the thing, after a while, they both got around to talking and now they actually get along well. Harry Potter and the time Neville accidentally switched the batch of cookies intended for the Hogwarts professors as part of a banquet with the batch of cookies he and Ron made for an upcoming music festival Harry Potter and the hole he made punching a wall in the Gryffindor dormitory out of frustration about his currently low WGPA wizard grade point average which he turns around eventually but he still has to pay the school damages for the wall which completely depletes the wizard student loans he had for that semester Harry Potter and the money Monumental debt that wizard student loans have subjected him to Harry Potter and the bathrobe he kept wearing up until a week and a half after him and Cho Chang broke things off Harry Potter and the realization that using magic burns a good amount of calories, hence the ridiculous amounts of food in the dining hall Harry Potter and the time he was ready to go clubbing with friends but backed out because he has social anxiety. Harry Potter and the night he didn't close the fridge properly thus 
ruining all his meat Harry Potter and the party where he clogged the toilet Harry Potter and the cheap iron that ruined his best dress shirt Harry Potter and the private trainer who was a little too pushy Harry Potter and the birthday where Hermione gave him a bad necklace but had to pretend he liked it Harry Potter and the sounds his car started making but he chose to ignore Harry Potter and the black guy in the elevator Harry Potter and the recurring back pains Harry Potter and the wet dream involving Luna Lovegood and Hagrid Harry Potter and the family reunions where everyone pretends that the child abuse never happened Harry Potter and the Thai prostitute of questionable age and gender Harry Potter and the backpacking across Europe Hermione did for about a year after she graduated Harry Potter and the high blood pressure he inherited from his father Harry Potter and the time when he was five and he tried to draw a pinwheel with his crayons and it looked an awful lot like a swastika so Aunt Petunia had to sit Harry down and give him a talk Harry Potter and that cheeky little cunt Malfoy. Ugh, I just, I mean, ag, just, just fuck him, okay? Just fuck him and his rich dad. Harry Potter and the absolute banjer Snape managed to come up with after dicking around with Ada for a few hours Harry Potter and the sorting hat shaped fleshlights Fred and George were selling in the adult section of their shop Harry Potter and the duct tape wallet that made him look like a tool Harry Potter and the Zooey desk Anil phase Ginny went through for a total of five months Harry Potter and the fear his uncle Dursley has of him being replaced at his line of work by a wizard or which who is willing to do the exact same job at a lower wage Harry Potter and the malignant tumor he couldn't magic off his pancreas Harry Potter and the predatory alone threatening his home Harry Potter and the ironic t-shirt that did not mean what he thought it meant to a black person Harry Potter and the bowel movement without and Harry Potter and the one time with Ron in Hogsmeade that didn't mean anything Harry Potter and the blood alcohol level Hagrid had at the time Harry Potter and the security deposit Ron's never getting back Harry Potter and the improper way he's been clipping his nails Harry Potter and the black eye he gave that daily prophet paparazzi Harry Potter and the thing he had about ants, I mean, spiders and snakes don't do anything to the guy, but seeing a trail of ants is enough to get him to leave the room and ask from behind the door if they got rid of the ants yet Harry Potter and the difficulty his son Albus had looking him in the eye that made sense after the diagnosis Harry Harry Potter has a chat with a Mormon child Harry Potter and the one tit bigger than the other that Hermione was really self-conscious about Harry Potter and the ill-fated run for Minister for Magic on the labor ticket Harry Potter and the sock he jacked into and then gave to Dobby and then he went home and had a giggle Harry Potter and the time Uncle Dursley came on to Paul McGann Harry Potter and the blank prescription pads he was selling out of his dorm during his sixth year Harry Potter and the cardigan he never wears but still keeps Harry Potter and the time he heard Ginny fart Harry Potter and the McDonald's employee who gave him the wrong change Harry Potter and the wrong turn that made him use a toll bridge and pay $3.50 Harry Potter and the day he missed the bus so he had to wait for the next one Harry Potter and the class where he wasn't sure if a cute girl was trying to make eye contact with him Harry Potter and the Facebook's talking when he accidentally liked an old photo of Cho Harry Potter and the train ride with Hagrid's irritable bowel syndrome Harry Potter and the film that he plus liked but everyone hated Harry Potter and the night he heard Bron having a flop Harry Potter and the chicken that wasn't cooked all the way through Harry Potter and the overheard domestic abuse that he doesn't report Harry Potter and the seasonal hay fever Harry Potter and the fear his uncle Dursley has of him being replaced at his line of work by a wizard or which who is willing to do the exact same job at a lower wage Harry Potter and the one time with Ron in Hogsmeade that didn't mean anything Harry Potter and the high blood pressure he inherited from his father Father Harry Potter and the difficulty his son Albus had looking him in the eye that made sense after the diagnosis Harry Potter and the ungodly hour he's been waking up everyone in Gryffindor by hitting the snooze button when his alarm goes off Harry Potter and the penis that moaning Myrtle could stop laughing at because it was an any Harry Potter and the waxed kitchen floor him and his mates have been toxicating on for quite some time Harry Potter and the mystical plant Professor Sprout has hidden in her office closet under a lamp Harry Potter and the failing kidney Harry Potter and the top 
Pop hats cut open like soup cans with the lid still attached that he always imagined homeless people wearing Harry Potter and the gang he had to join to survive during his brief stint in as cop and Harry Potter and the box of Grateful Dead bootlegs Hagrid gave him for Christmas Harry Potter and the pretentious attitude he's been having lately Harry Potter and the hot wax from the floating candles that has been falling on students every night in the dining hall and the school is starting to get complaints Harry Potter and the one ghost whose name he forgot Harry Potter and the horseshoe theory used by people with all their chromosomes in order to describe the relationship between fortune and reddit Harry Potter and the rascal uncle Dursley has to use to get around now that his kneecaps are busted Harry Potter and the sublime poster he put up in the Gryffindor common room Harry Potter and the foot the doctor told Dudley he'd have to cut off if he keeps this up Harry Potter and the crippling social anxiety that kept him from joining a study group Harry Potter and the whole goddamn thing of whiskey filch drank at what noon to forget what he saw when he was emptying out that dumpster the morning after the Yule Ball Harry Potter and the convoluted crossover with the kids from the series of unfortunate events series Harry Potter and the SPEW Proudster that threw paint on his coat even though it was only imitation elf skin Harry Potter and the strange notches in Hogrid's belt Harry Potter and the mid-semester decision Hermione had to change her major from defense against the dark arts to geology and it was a good thing she had been spending all her time up until then knocking out her just because otherwise she would have just been wasting her parents money Harry Potter and the open mic over in Hogsmeade he did stand up in every other week Harry Potter and the gradual realization that Snape was a man this whole time Harry Potter and the spring break where he run and Neville took a road trip across America and discovered themselves Harry Potter and the big black throbbing 10 inch demagogical gave him on his report card Harry Potter and the goth face he went through at age 25 Harry Potter and the animal he ran over and had to put out of its misery. Harry Potter and the outstanding late fees at the video store that he says he will pay off but never does despite the fact that he has the money to pay them all off now Harry Potter and the term Professor Snape taught P. Harry Potter and the weird smell in the Gryffindor dormitory that no one could find the source of but that everyone blamed on Neville. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Forest's delicate ecosystem that Hagrid keeps threatening by introducing far too many different species. Harry Potter and the psychoactive strain of Gillyweed Neville started growing in a bid for popularity which worked out pretty well for him actually. Harry Potter and the end of school trip to Thorpe Park. Harry Potter and the monster in his stomach that made him rape Ginny. Harry Potter and the clingy Asian he kept around as an exotic pet. Harriet Potter and her handsome and sex deprived godfather Harry Potter and the exquisite parcel tongue skills that made Tom's snake very happy Harry Potter and the year in which Hogwarts replaced house point deductions with spankings Harry Potter and Dudley's first time Harry Potter and the rabbit loop in eight hole Harry Potter and the girl who mistook him for a lesbian and instead of correcting her he kind of went with it for a while Harry Potter and the video he sent to Tosh Harry Potter and the jar of honey that his hand got stuck in Harry Potter and the police officer who had to talk him down Harry Potter and the time he spat in Jennifer Lawrence's mouth Harry Potter and the 20 pounds he gained when he stopped going on his morning jogs due to his ingrown toenail which hurt like a son of a whore Harry Potter and the diary that Tom Riddle had that he didn't call a journal even though he was a boy Harry Potter and the muddled pornographic website Arthur Weasley wrote his dissertation on Harry Potter and the Mexican soft house he's going to have to stay at for a while until the heat dies down Harry Potter and the special ed class he stayed at for a while and then a kid bit him so he left because he felt like he didn't have to put up with that and now everyone hates Jeffrey especially the other special ed kids I mean they liked Harry and Jeffrey just had to fuck it up for them because he's a dick Harry Potter and the Thunder Mary Poppins stole from him during the opening ceremony for the Olympics Harry Potter and the open relationship run and
and Hermione had for a Y at the suggestion of their marriage counselor and then they had to explain it to their kids Harry Potter and the bad seeds Harry Potter and the prostitute Maddie Moody hired but they didn't have sex or anything. He just cried for the four hours she was there Harry Potter and the wall of fame at the three broomsticks that didn't have any brothers on it Harry Potter and the lackluster Barty Crouch impersonation John Stewart did last night Harry Potter and the American Community College that Quidditch announcer transferred to Harry Potter and the painting he tried to fuck Harry Potter and the sideshow at Privet Drive where he did some ghost riding before the cops came Harry Potter and the day when Dumbledore fell while giving a speech Harry Potter and the banana he facetiously pretended was a phone Harry Potter and the American flag he hung off an overpass and lit on fire Harry Potter and the cinnamon challenge Harry Potter and the large amounts of marijuana he was going to smoke in a week in an attempt to get himself off the stuff for good Harry Potter and the bee he stepped on while barefoot Harry Potter and the awful, terrible, no good, very bad day Harry Potter and the school trip to Amsterdam where Hermione saw a bunch of museums, Ron got ripped out of his mind, and Malfoy spray painted a dark mark on one of the walls of the Anne Frank house Harry Potter and the one that was also a laser Pointer Harry Potter and the dumb threat that just wouldn't quit Harry Potter and the bass guitar he hasn't touched in months Harry Potter and the strange discharge Harry Potter and the rubber spider he threw out the window and it hit run right on the head and he freaked the fuck out and Harry had himself a giggle Harry Potter and the weekend he spent in a psych ward after he stopped lying to his therapist Harry Potter and the goblets of lean him Ron and Hermione drank the other night Harry Potter and the television show he didn't watch yet still complained about Harry Potter and the jump interview he fucked up Harry Potter and the one last heist and then he's done Harry Potter and the Chamber of Commerce Harry Potter and the personal stuff Hermione's been going through lately Harry Potter and the bottle opener Keech Hagrid gave him for his birthday Harry Potter and the heavily compressed JPGS of political cartoons that Dumbledore emailed him Harry Potter and the asbestos Hogwarts had to have removed over the summer Harry Potter and the black butts that were way better than white butts Harry Potter and the diaper commercial where the babies got up on stage and had a shitting contest that he couldn't believe a human being came up with Harry Potter and the Nazi paraphernalia he collected for a while but then he got tired of explaining to everyone who'd look around his garage that he's not a Nazi and he doesn't sympathize with them in any way he's just really fascinated with a dark chapter in history Harry Potter and the class trip to Six Flags where Professor Lupin had to bullshit a reason as to what that had to do with learning magic Harry Potter and the baby aspirin mad I Moody had to take every day Harry Potter and the time he pretended to be retarded so he could get into Thorpe Park for free and the surprising lack of guilt he felt from doing so Harry Potter and the large amounts of urine on the floor of the boys toilets that Filch still hasn't cleaned up Harry Potter and the radio head face he went through Harry Potter and the Weird Sisters fanfic he found on Neville's laptop Harry Potter and the second language he said he would learn for his New Year's resolution but still hasn't Harry Potter. And the three-way that he and Ginny arranged with Luna that has made everything awkward between them Harry Potter and the decline of the West Harry Potter and that giant dinner he arranged that no one went to which made him very angry and also kinda depressed until he found out he accidentally wrote the wrong date on the invitation card Harry Potter and that song he secretly wrote but is too afraid to show anyone Harry Potter and that piece of mess that has been stuck behind a tooth that just annoys him and and he can't get out with his tongue but he can't put his fingers into his mouth in public that would be awkward Harry Potter and his embracing spirit animal Harry Potter and that weekend he had nothing to eat in his fridge but some cheese and ketchup Harry Potter and the jokes he's been stealing from a webcomic about a bird and some kind of bear thingy Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows.